and we are ready to learn and play. But before we start, let's not forget to put our hands together and pray. Tap, tap, point your finger up, point your finger down, put it on your head, head. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, 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 point your finger up, point your finger down, put it on your nose, nose. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up, point your finger down, put it on your chin, chin. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up, point your finger down, put it on your arm, arm. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up, point your finger down, put it on your leg. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, tap, tap. 
Point your finger up, point your finger down Put it on your foot, foot Put it on your leg, leg Put it on your arm, arm Put it on your chin, chin Put it on your nose, nose Put it on your head, head Now let's wave goodbye, goodbye class and in today's lesson we are going to learn things seen in school we are also going to find out how to use this is and these are in a sentence we'll also learn how to ask and answer questions so are you ready to begin with our class if you're ready I want you to show me your listening ears now we're going to take a look at objects that can be found in school. So we're going to see the pictures one at a time on the screen and you need to repeat after teacher. All right, let's start. This is a clock. This is a map. This is a blackboard. This is a desk. And this is a chair. This is a file holder. This is a globe. This is a computer. This is a backpack. This is a calculator. These are books. These are notebooks. This is a scotch tape. Now we're going to learn how to use this is and these are. Now I want you to put in your mind that we only use this is and these are when we are pointing at objects that are just near us. For example, objects that you can reach or you can touch that you can also show as you talk about them. For example, look at this. Chichi is holding a pencil. Now, I say, this is my pencil. This is my pencil. Why do I say this is? Because I am holding the object. Now, I will show you 
another few things. I am holding here. What are these? Glues. Okay. Listen to teacher. I will say these are glues. These are glues. Right. Why do I say these? Because again, I am talking about objects that I can hold because they are near me. Do you understand? Now that you know that you can only use this is and these are for objects that are near you, you say this is when you're talking about one object. Can you show me one finger? One. Right. So when you're talking about only one object, you can say this is. Just like what I said earlier. I said this is a pencil. Again, I will say it and then you have to repeat after teacher. My turn. This is a pencil. Your turn. Good. Now, how do we use these are? We use these are when we are talking about more than one objects. So more than one means it can be two, it can be three, it can be four, and more. So when we have more than one, we say these are. Just like what I said earlier. I said, these are glues. I will say it again, and you have to repeat after teacher. My turn, these are glues. Your turn? Hmm, how do we ask and answer questions using this is and these are? Let's find out. So, teacher will ask you something first. What do you see on the screen? Is this a sharpener? Okay, so if it is a sharpener, you can answer, yes, it is. Again, is this a sharpener? Yes, it is. Good. I'll show you another thing. Is this a ruler? No, it's not a ruler, right? So what can you answer? You can say, no, it isn't. Again, my turn. No, it isn't. Your turn. Good. So again, when you agree, you say, yes, it is. But... If you do not agree, you say, no, it isn't. Is it easy to answer questions? Well, you'll get to learn about it more. This time, now if we are asking about objects, that is more than one. And let's take a look at the picture on the screen. Let me ask you, are these notebooks? Yes, they are, right? They are notebooks. So your answer is, yes, they are. Now, let me ask you another thing. Are these toys? Do you agree that these are toys? No, right? So your answer should be, no, they aren't. My turn, no. They aren't. Your turn. Good. All right, so we're going to wrap up. If the question starts with, is this, you can answer by saying, yes, it is, or no, it isn't. How about if the question starts with, are these? You can answer by saying, yes, they are, or no, they aren't.
There you go, kids. We have learned a new lesson today on how to use this is and these are and also how to ask and answer questions. I hope that you find the lesson easy, but just in case, you can continue to practice together with Teacher Rhea tomorrow. I hope you found the lesson meaningful, kids, and I'll see you guys very soon. Have a great week! Goodbye and thank you.